Hello everybody. Today it's going to be kind of like a review update video and what I'm bringing you today or what I updated today is my lapel microphone. As you know I had a pop voice microphone, a Paladow, a Thiefine or Thiefine, however you pronounce that, lapel microphone. I even had a $14 pile wireless microphone too but as good as all those microphones were I decided to do an upgrade and I'll tell you why in just a moment but right now let me show you what that microphone is and it's this one here and it is the Rode Lavalier Plus microphone or the Smart Lav Plus microphone and it really is small let me kind of, there's the plug right here. It's a TRRS plug, and this is the actual microphone right here. Look how small that microphone is compared to this one here that I'm wearing, which is the Paladow. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit more noticeable too with this Paladow microphone on. But I decided to go with the smart lav plus microphone for a few good reasons but first let me run down a little bit more of the specs you do get a three and a half millimeter trrs plug on it and the way you can tell it's trrs is if you look right here you get one two and three see the three black lines that's called trrs and the microphone is only four and a half millimeters and so that's really nice but this microphone is also compatible with Android and iOS so yes you can use it on your smartphone and the cable has been reinforced with Kevlar you do get a 12 month warranty the only drawback I have is how short the cable is from the tip of the microphone to the tip of the plug it's only like three feet nine inches long I wish they would have added another foot, maybe foot and a half, because the distance I have right now from my camera to where I'm standing, I actually need an extension cable. Unless I wear the microphone, the cable on the outside of my shirt, and you might see it kind of hanging in shot, and I just really don't like that. I guess they kind of made this to be like, uh, you know, for selfies or something. I don't know. But I just really wish, the only drawback I could see with this microphone is it's a little bit too short. But I did, I do have an extension cable, which is perfectly fine. And right now with my camera, I need to have a TRRS to TRS adapter. So I went ahead and bought, at the same time, the Rode adapter, which you plug the lapel mic into here, and this part which is TRS. If you can see, there's just two little black lines on it. That's TRS. I have that so I can plug this microphone directly into my Panasonic G6. The good thing about this, also about this microphone, is you don't need to buy the Rode adapter. I have been using this adapter, well, except for today which is the pop voice adapter, the TRRS to TRS adapter. I've been using that with the Rode uh, lapel, the Smart Lab Plus, and it works just fine. So you really don't need to buy the Rode adapter if you don't want to. As long as you get a good quality TRRS to TRS adapter, boy, that's a long way to say it, you'll be good to go. But I would suggest if you're planning on sitting about two and a half to say three and a half feet away from your camera, like I'm standing now, get a good extension cable to go along with this microphone. Now, the sound quality of this microphone is really excellent. The last two videos I did, the Nikron flashlight and the Olight flashlight, I used the Rode microphone with. Right now I'm currently using my Paladow microphone. 
And that's what I like about this Rode microphone, is the sound. And also, like I said, how small the actual microphone is. So it won't be as noticeable as, say, like this one here, because it's since it's kind of big and a little bit more heavy, you can kind of see it dragging a little bit on my shirt. This one you really don't, unless I really don't care and I just throw it on. But uh, I do try to take a little bit of care so it's not as noticeable. That's one of the reasons why. The other reason why is, well, it's a Rode microphone. It's really good. Yes, all of the, a lot of the YouTubers use this. But the other reason why is I can use it on a smartphone. Okay, so right now, what you're seeing and hearing is the Rode SmartLav Plus microphone plugged into my brand new Samsung Galaxy S7 smartphone. Yeah, I got it brand spanking new for 170 bucks, meaning the Galaxy S7. I couldn't believe I got it for 170 bucks. So it's also me testing it out right now with video and audio from the Rode SmartLav Plus. Now I will leave links in the description below for the uh, so you can go to Amazon and buy the Rode Smart Lab Plus. But if you're like me, I went on to eBay and I searched around. It took me probably about two to three days, but I was able to find this exact microphone as an open box for only 50 bucks. And there's nothing wrong with this microphone whatsoever. It's absolutely brand spanking new. It's just that it was an open box and the seller even gave me a 90 day warranty for it. He's all out of them right now or else I'd leave the link for that down below. But it just goes to show you maybe if you search around other than like Amazon, you might be able to find this microphone for a lot cheaper. Well, I hope this is a good test for you and a really good test for my Samsung Galaxy S7. Alrighty. So right now what you're listening to is the Rode SmartLav Plus microphone right here. And as you can tell, it's not as noticeable as the Palatow. I got the Rode microphone going into my extension cable, going into the adapter, going into my Panasonic G6 camera. So that's what it sounds like right now. And like I said, I, my previous two videos, I used this microphone and those two videos as well. So if you really want a good listen, go back, watch the Nikron or the Olight flashlight, or both of them if you like, uh, review videos, and you'll really get a good idea of what this microphone sounds like. And just as a quick tip, with whatever lapel microphone or lavalier microphone you go with, before you really start publishing any videos or whatever, always test them out first. And what do I mean by that? When you plug it into your camera and you think you got the audio, the recording level set right, every microphone is slightly different. So you may either have to adjust it, meaning you may have to put the recording level a little higher or a little lower for each specific microphone. Like with my pop voice microphone that I reviewed a while ago, I had to either have it on one or two for it to sound good or for what I liked as the sound. With the Paladow, I actually went to number three, sometimes number four on my recording level on my camera. And with the Rode microphone, I found I can go anywhere from two to four on recording level. So just make sure of that too. Be Always test out your, your equipment before you really get into any of your videos. Never take anything for granted, especially when it comes to audio. Well, that's it for today's video. And if you do like this video, take a look at my other ones. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video on all your social media. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that little bell on the bottom which will turn notifications on, so any, every time I put out a new video, you'll be notified about it. Also, if you like, I'm also on BitChute, and I hope you come over there 
and subscribe to my channel over there on BitChute. Pretty much it's the same exact videos that are on here, that are on there. But I'll leave a video link for you below or the link to my channel below in the description box for my BitChute channel. Well, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, you have a great day.